Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for the first week of May 2018. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for this first week of May? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. If you'd like a quick uh, little reading, you can go to Instago and I will answer you within 24 hours. $10. Quick. These fell out. You could be out having fun. Uh, celebrating. Getting, with, getting together with your friends. There could be some drinking going on. You know, having some fun. Um... You may be offering your cup of love to someone. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody a little bit younger than you. But it feels like you could be receiving a message of love or you're offering a message of love to someone. There's good news either way. It's welcome and unexpected news that probably is going to make you happy. Maybe, even, maybe if you're out and about, you could um, connect with someone that you know could lead to romance and happiness um it looks like you guys are letting go of some conflict in your life looks really good there's a lot of happiness here emotional contentment feeling good which is great it's like you guys are releasing some tension for sure um you are <laughs> yes you guys are letting go of something all right with the death card it's like there's some sort of release here there's a new beginning. There could be a new beginning in a relationship. You could meet this. If you haven't met this person yet, you could meet them out and about, you know, when you're out drinking or having fun with your friends or this, you could just receive a message from somebody. I don't know. If you are in a relationship already, you could be letting go of, um, conflicts. You know, you could be just letting something go. I'm just going to let it go so that we can be happy. That kind of thing. Wow. So there is an unexpected choice in love here. This I think this is somebody new. Okay. If you're in a relationship, there could be some sort of, uh, you know, reconciliation. You know, if you're in a relationship, you could be moving it up to the next level. But it really looks to me like here that there is some sort of, you know, that's Cupid's arrow. Okay. There's a new connection here. So whether it's a renewed connection with somebody that you are with now, or if you are single, there could be a new correct connection coming into your life. This is somebody that mirrors you, okay? This is somebody that is going to love you for who, they, who you are. This person isn't going to be worried about what you look like, and this person is not your usual type, okay? This person is very much um, into you as you are. Okay, so I feel like there is absolutely, there is an unexpected choice in love either this week or it has happened or it's coming in the near future. Okay, something is happening here in regards to the love arena. It looks damn good to me. It's not somebody from your past. Okay. I do not believe it is somebody from your past. So all of you that are thinking, oh my God, my ex is coming back. I don't see that. I don't see that. Okay, I don't believe it's an ex. I believe that whoever was in your past is not the one. And you may be thinking that that person is the one. Because the lover's card will also often um, signify that you think you know who the one is. But the one in, is really isn't the one. So that's what it looks like to me. Be objective. Keep your options open because this person isn't who you think it is. That's what I'm trying to say. Get prepared for it. Okay? Get prepared for it because it's coming. It's going to make you very, very happy. There's going to be a lot of seduction. You're going to have to make a decision. There's going. To, it looks like there, this could lead to a very beautiful union with a lot of happiness. You need to let go of your fear, though. And you need to release the past. Don't bring it with you. It's not this person from the past that you think it is. It's not. 
okay? Whoever this person is in the past that you're that you are hurt over or that you are still stuck on is not the one. You are missing the true ace of cups by concentrating on the past. There's an ace of cups opportunity waiting for you. Ace of cups is true love. It's love coming in if you would just see it and be open to it. Be objective to something new. It's not in the past. So let the past go. Release the past. Put yourself out there. Go have some fun. Be open to somebody new and they will come in. If you do think it's somebody from the past and you give it a try, you know, that'll just be like a rebound thing and it will bring the conflict and the uh, discontent right back to your life. So if you're thinking that this is someone from the past, you will continue. You, If you go back to this person from the past, you will continue to have conflict. You will continue to be treated unfairly. You will continue to feel discontent. Don't do it. There's somebody new. You need to look at things from a new perspective. You need to be honest with yourself. You don't need power struggles. You don't need tension. And I, I, I understand that you have been reluctant to move on from a situation. But you should really be feeling relieved at this time. Because you do have a new opportunity. You do. If you would just look at this from a new perspective. You have somebody new, Sagittarius. Somebody that's more stable and secure and solid and wise and mature. And can take very, very good care of you. Loyal. Make you very happy. There's a lot of happiness to be had. If you would just open your eyes, be patient, look at things from new perspectives. It's not who you think it is. It's somebody else. Have confidence, have courage, hold your head up high. Get creative. Put yourself out there. Be assertive. Do what's right for you. And become alive again. Stop. I'll be right there. Let the emptiness go from the past. Don't hold on to it. Don't let it hold you back, Sagittarius. Relight the fire. Show the world your passion. You have a beautiful new opportunity here if you would not self-sabotage yourself, if you would not deny the truth, if you could find the power within you to move forward. You have a new passionate, exciting opportunity for growth, but there's no second chance with someone from the past, so don't do it. Accept the truth. That's over. I'm moving forward. I have a new passionate start right in front of me. Don't keep your eyes closed to the new potential that's coming in. You could miss the opportunity if you don't want to see it. With the Four of Cups, you could miss the opportunity. Accept this. Don't let confusion and illusion and fear hold you back from moving forward with someone new. Confusion about the past. The past is the past. That person is not the one. Somebody else is. I'm sorry to bring the, be the bearer of bad news for all of you that are hanging on to the past, but you're being dishonest with yourself. There's no chance with this person from the past. You have a new opportunity for a passionate beginning with somebody brand new. If you would open your eyes, put yourself out there, go have some fun, it can lead to an abundant amount of happiness and bliss. If you just open your eyes to the newness. We're going to get you one more. This is a week of seeing the reality. See, this is the moon reverse is about reality. Okay. 
accepting the truth, no longer letting confusion and illusion hold you back. Seeing the truth, accepting it, not letting fear hold you back. No, 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 no. Happiness is here should you open your eyes and let it in. Woo, new beginning. New beginnings. We all know what that means. You have a wonderful new chance for new love. Put yourself out there. Go have some fun and understand that there is an opportunity for a new love. If you let go. If you let go of the past. That is what I have, Sagittarius. Talk to you later. Remember. Go to Instago if you want something quick. Sorry for the quick reading. My cat's about ready to flip out. Talk to you later.